What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. Oop. This is your boy Hemi Life. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about these bad boys right here. This guy right here. Um, some tires right here. Some more tires in the Jeep over there. And uh, yeah. So there's the teaser. Let's go ahead and cue the intro and let's get into today's video. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about my new wheel setup. These are my brand new wheels, as you can tell, four boxes from Ferrari. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I covered it. Oh, f my phone number. Okay. Alright. Sorry, I had to blur up. Okay. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about these right here, which are my new wheels. And these are from Ferrada Wheel. And I got these bad boys from Fitment Industries. Huge shout out to them. They're the ones that hooked me up. Huge shout out to Zeke, especially if he's watching this video, which he probably isn't. But yeah, I got these from Fitment Industries. Or ordered them from Fitment Industries about three months ago or so. And they are the Ferrado wheels. I will be showing you in today's video. I ordered two different sizes for the front and rear. And uh, we're going to be talking about that in today's video. Uh, as you guys may know, this is my car. It's a 2013 Charger RT all-wheel drive. Now that's the key into today's video. It's all-wheel drive. And as many of you know... You really can't run a lot of tire setups or wheel and tire setups on the all-wheel drives because of if you're running a rear-wheel drive tire or wheel in the front, they stick out. So a lot of people have that issue, but I believe I got it figured out and um, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> so these wheels and tires right here are the, the RT blacktop wheels. I got them from a local tire shop and I, th I believe they're 20 by seven and a half or 20 by eight. I believe they're 20 by eights. So they're 20 by eights with, I don't even know what offset. It looks like a, a 55 maybe or no, not a 55. That's too much. I don't know, but it's definitely a high offset and that's the only reason mine fit. And the tires that I have on them are these Achilles all season tires in 245, 45, 20, if you can see that. And for the front, since I am lowered, there's a little bit of camber and it tucks perfectly. It doesn't stick out too much. Same setup in the rear, um, same tires, same wheels, but the only difference for the rear, I have a complete SRT rear wheel drive setup. And I'm running a one inch spacer, if you can tell right over there. Uh, I'm running a one inch spacer to make these wheels fit as flush as possible. But these new wheels should take care of that issue. And once again, I'll explain all that in here in a second. So, you know what, let's just stop talking and let's show you guys the new wheels. What do you guys say? Here we go. All right, so I'm using one of the boxes to set the camera on top. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Actually, I already opened one up. There you go. Ferrata wheels. Let's open that up. So this is the 20 by eight and a half. These are gonna be my front wheels. There you go. In three, two, one. Look at that. I'll go ahead and take this off as well for you guys. Boom. These are my new wheels. Ferrata FR2 matte bronze with the gloss black lip. You got the Ferrata over there, and then the center cap right here is where it's gonna go. But these are the new wheels. That's what it looks like. Let's get it. 
out of the box. The whole barrel is matte bronze. And this is gonna match the new wrap so much better. And you guys will already know what the new wrap is. Psych! <laughs> So this video is being filmed on Saturday, January 29, it's 18 degrees. So yeah, you guys have seen this way before, so this is kind of like part one of the video. But yeah, these are what the wheels look like, and as you can tell by the offset, it's a pretty high offset. So these are 20 by 8.5 like you saw, and I believe I went with the plus 38 doesn't show over there uh, let's see if it says anything in here 20 by eight and a half J uh, no but it says the model number right there which is an FR2 where there's my offset yeah I don't remember what offset this is but once I go inside we'll talk about it a little bit more but yeah 20 by eight and a half 35 or 38 millimeter offset and then the fronts we're gonna keep the 245 45 20 Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires which are these bad boys right here I got four of them from my old setup and then the next one is this one which is the same wheel with the lower Lower offset. It's a 20 by 9. Ferrata does not offer a 20 by 9 and a half, and that's what I wanted to get a 9 and a half, but they don't offer it. They go from 9 to to 10, I believe, but they didn't have the correct offset for the 10 inch wheel, and I didn't want to go anything bigger than that. So as you can tell, same wheel. This one I put the center cap on it. Oh. So, yeah, same wheel, matte bronze, gloss black. And now look at the offset on this. It's not very flat like that one. This one, 20 by 9 with a plus 50 in the offset. And this should fit the rear very flush. But yeah, I don't know. I'm talking too much. It's cold. I'm getting cold. So there's that. And my rear tire setup is gonna be these right here tires right here the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's 275 40 20 so for right now I'm gonna go ahead load up old wheels and tires into the back of the Jeep here so I can take them with me to work tomorrow and then uh, we'll show you guys the process of me mounting them I did put four brand or I did buy four brand new sensors TPMS sensors because I am keeping these black wheels as a winter setup unless somebody uh, Somebody buys them off me, but I'm not gonna be posting them. So yeah, let's go ahead uh, Put these in the car and then I'll meet you guys back inside So that we can talk a little bit more about numbers all-wheel drive offsets tire Differences for all the all-wheel drive stuff. So here we go seen in the last clip Tires, wheels loaded up in the Jeep. I will be installing those tomorrow and I'm gonna do a POV type installation to show you how I do it. But moving on for right now, I just really wanna explain this all wheel drive wheel and tire setup because it's just a pretty tricky thing. Just to get regular wheels and tires for for this all wheel drive type charger thing, it's, it's pretty complicated. And for what I'm doing, I'm doing a staggered setup so it's kinda a little bit more tricky. But then again, you have to remember your car is not the same as my car. My rear end is completely SRT rear wheel drive parts. So my hubs, my spindles, my axles, everything in the back is completely different. So it's not the same as this all wheel drive anymore, only for the rear. So my fronts could be for you. So like I was saying outside, I have two different size wheels that I bought. For my rear setup, I got 20 by nines because they didn't have nine and a half which is what I wanted so 20 by 9 with a 15 millimeter offset how I got that 
The Hellcats come with 20 by 9.5 with an 18 millimeter offset, I believe. And then the Scat Packs come 20 by 9 with a 25 millimeter offset. So 20 by 9, 15. That was just a guess. I'm hoping that works out. So we'll find out hopefully later in, in today's video. And then for the fronts, that took a long, a lot of research, took a, quite a while to figure it out. But after some forums and Facebook questions and all that good stuff, 20 by 8.5 is the lowest size tire wheel I could get. And then I slapped on a 35 millimeter offset. And there are forums that I've seen that said they use that same width you know an offset so 20 by eight and a half 35 millimeter offset and uh, like I said we'll see how it fits up later into today's video but that's what I'm running with I believe if if you're like for your stock all-wheel drive car suspension wise and whatnot I believe the rears are the same as the fronts because what they did on the all-wheel drives they matched the spindles in the rear as the fronts to have the same offset so if you were to get four cornered you know wheels and tires it would probably be the same 20 by eight and a half 35 millimeter offset don't quote me for that that's just my guess but this is my calculations and my measurements for my car and going to the tires now because i'm doing a staggered setup all wheel drives you don't see much staggered setups the reason for that is if you have a smaller size tire in the front than and a bigger size tire in the back, it's different rotations. The car will trip out. You'll go into limp mode. You'll fuck up your transfer case or and or transmission. But there's a way around it. So for tires, and this is all about tire and wheel sizes. You you can't just pick one and you know. So number one thing, you can't run different size wheels. You you just can't unless you really have down to the you know point oh 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 one measurement that it's gonna work but it's pretty complicated but you have most likely you have to have the same size so i'm running 20s front and rear that's fine tires like i was saying i'm doing 245 45 20s in the front and in the rears i'm doing 275 40 so i'm going 30 30 millimeters wider and five millimeters shorter now when you're going with tires you have to basically calculate this right here so i'm on fitment industries website where i bought the thing and the key rule to follow is to have one percent variance between the overall front and rear diameter of your wheel so going to their calculator going from 245 to 275 like i said front and rear the diameter difference is 0.02 inches, which is 0.07, negative 0.07 doesn't matter, percent. So I'm well, you know, I'm, I'm good on that. And coming here to discount tire, if you do the conversion calculator, this is the difference. So current 245, the new 275. And these are the difference. The height is 0.01 inch as you can see the difference width obviously the width is different but it's not about the width it's about the height and it's about the revs and mi revs per mile which is the rotation of the tire so height is 0.01 which is fine height over here tire height that's sidewall height that sidewall height that's tire height which is negative 0.02 which is good circumference is good and it's under one percent this is the revolutions per minute 70322 70369 it's still 703 it's within spec everything looks good so 245 front 275 rear on a no wheel drive works it's fine so yeah i hope that explained it and didn't confuse you guys but it's just it's a tricky thing for the all wheel drives i probably talked too much into today's video let's go ahead i'll catch you guys tomorrow on the GoPro, installing the wheel, installing the tires, on the new wheels, here we go. Alright, can we leave that way?
Alright guys, it's been a while since you guys seen the last clip of that video. And uh, we ran into a couple unfortunate things in the charger. If you guys haven't seen the last couple of videos, I got in a car accident. And um, this is where, we at, we, where we're at now. And ah, they're, they're, hello, hi guys, how's it going? What are you guys walking away to? All of a sudden we have the same clothes as the last video? What happened? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. This video right here has been in the making for the last couple of months. Oh. But with YouTube editing, it all happens in one video. One video. One video. One video. That's, crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, um, yeah, got in a wreck in the charger. I got a couple things here that I'm getting done, but this video is about the wheels, and I did say I was going to wait until I wrapped the car the new color, and I did already say the new wrap color previously in the beginning of the video, but yeah, that was bleeped out because I was waiting for, um, you know, I was going to wait till I wrapped the car, but a series of unfortunate things happened, and I'm like, let me just pop them on now. I did have the car in the air. Um... Oh shit. Well, you guys already know what they look like. I just want to get a little quick montage. But. Here, I'll hold the light for you. He'll hold the light. I got you. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess let's just cue the montage. <laughs> let's just show you guys how it looks like on the car with the red, even though it's not going to be with the red. guys so that's how it turns out on the red but um like I said it won't be like this for long once the car gets back and wrapped it'll look a lot better like I said these wheels were picked to match the new wrap and I think it's gonna look amazing he knows what the wrap is I don't I am a child in custody of my what bro what are you talking about man I'm so tired dude okay it's cold and he's so making us work without pay. This is, I can't say so that because I'm trying to go to college so I can't say what I was about to say. But so you know what the new wrap is. How do, how do you think they'll be with the new wheels? You see the white that it's going to be. Oh my God, man. <laughs> I mean the, 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 the. Just give me a flat answer. Yes. Okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so tired. <laughs> anyway, that's how they turned out. And in today's video, I want to give a huge shout out two big Robert. time big time graphics for the Brembo decal on both sides and huge shout out to my guy LS life the guy that I work with he's freaking annoying but he did powder coat powder coat these rear calipers they weren't red I bought them reman and they were silver so he powder coated them they look amazing they match the fronts so yeah if you guys want to get anything powder coated make sure you guys go ahead and contact him his link is in the description on Facebook yeah, just contact him on Facebook. And if you guys need any decals for vinyl decals, anything you need, I'm pretty sure they do banners as well. Hit up Big Time Graphics. Their their link is in the description below. And then once again, huge shout out to Fitment Industries. These are my Ferrata FR2. I forgot what models these are. I believe these are the FR2s wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's all four corners. 275.40 and then 245.45. So, this is what how they turned out. I love them. They look pretty good. Can't wait till I rewrap the whole car. Can't wait till I get it fixed so I can get it back on the road. It's going to look amazing in my eyes. So, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and smash. Smash. That. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content coming here very soon. Turn it like that so they yeah. can see you talking. There Sir, you <laughs> turn on that post notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. It's been your boy Hemi Life. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.